Welcome everyone to another updated live stream here. Okay, I could show that. Intel security vulnerability, actually they say potential, uh, where was it here, I think. Potential, so yeah, it's, I don't know, potential for legal reasons or something. Also drop frames, yeah. fun stuff. Uh, Oricon theme here, right, spectrum meltdown, you name it. Yeah, sorry, some drop frames. Um, thanks to for the phone's failing doctor's infrastructure. Hurricane Simia, potential security vulnerability in some Intel processors allow information to disclose something we heard already a dozen times over the last years. And Intel released firmware updates to mitigate this issue. So, of course, let's package those for our increasingly successful Linux distribution. Uh, how did we name that even? Something with Intel, right? Did we name it U code or huh, macro code? Uh, we have it. Yeah, just updated in February or so, and it's like, yeah, nothing like updating that again in May. Um, the CVE is allocated but not yet public, so there is some optimization, removal, or modification of security critical code. Uh, allows an authenticated user to potentially enable information disclosure via local access. Um, and a lot of CPUs are. Uh. So, and while at that, there is another update, something more continuing, hopefully over LTE for less drop frames. Thanks, Luda. Fail. Vulkan, yes, totally unrelated, but this kind of actually should check with our data to update that. Headers, right? So there's all the good stuff. So the microcode, of course, you can wait for your BIOS update, or you update that from within your proper operating system, like T2, just raw vanilla upstream Linux. And I slightly wonder I should oops, add that to our to do. Oh, wait a second, is it there? No, oh, too many random stuff. Update, do we have, wherever we have that. So, and then, oops, also I foot fingered that, of course I do. Let's probably enter microcode. Of course, we run a more performant and secure Ryzen, so we don't test that here today. And Vulkan headers. Probably I should better spend the time debugging why this doesn't auto update. To be honest, recurring theme nothing beats automation like automation. And there goes that for your latest and greatest Vulkan enablement. Do we have anything else right now? The only other thing, what do we have in terms of QT5? Five fifteen four, but for that cross platform that it doesn't download cross-platform toolkit QT oh yeah nowadays everyone needs to have QT everywhere five four except why does it not um official Mm, QT everywhere. I have some open source. Uh, why did we not have this before? Hmm. So we were not in violation with the open source stuff. <coughs> <coughs> 
Yeah, just the regular open source maintenance stuff here daily on this channel. Is there... do we have 5.17.6? I think we have that, don't we? We have that. Yeah, this QT stuff is large. I hope that didn't download over LTE. Wait a second, is it only 38? Did they... Hmm, I think previously it was larger. No, maybe the open source edition is... Yeah, why is this... Uh oh, wait. Exit? No. Wait, what have we done here? Oh no, 623. Wait a second, what's going on here? Yeah, also totally not humongous. Uh, did we look at the downloads? Oh wait, this is bytes. Ah, oh, there's a the size. I think I... I mean, here is this water failing toxic stuff. Also, was it toxic or was it... Hmm. Received now. Okay, we don't lose this. So this yes, yeah, this toxic stuff can can be fast if just upload would would not be so um, sad. Um, why are they called troll tech? Seems really unfortunate naming here. It sounds weird. Yeah, QT in my opinion is not even the best toolkit. Uh, it's not even a good toolkit. Um, but somehow somehow a lot of things are not super amazing. I would for the most part. I would also say that static typing is not the right thing for a UI toolkit. A little bit biased, we have quite good success with Lua there. Um, and I, my experience is, I will by the way not even test it. My experience is that it is much quicker, less error prone uh, to develop UI at least the front-end system stuff is dynamically typed languages, uh, just in time compact also helps at times than the statically typed stuff, especially with this. I mean, yeah, nowadays it's a little bit better, but a decade or two ago with this mock macro object, what is it, compiler, oh, who knows what. Anyway, Qt was a little bit crazy. So that's it for this quick update, mostly for that. Yeah, there are not yet more details. Um, if there were, I would shout that out. We could quickly check fresh code on top of what data has done. Also, yeah, that is a little bit funny. Hello, what's wrong with you guys? Um, it's a little bit, yeah, why? Do we have this here? I think we did not recently package that. Hey, we did. Why is this much larger? Um, version number, I mean. Yeah, as you guessed it, um, by the way, did we recently update that? I lost overview. What did we do here? Some auto fixes. Okay, apparently. Okay, last 2010. That explains a thing. Is it 271? Actually, that is interesting. Has this a chance to build? Just the usual random improving our distribution here. Some already say the best distribution, but maybe my friends are biased and our users, maybe both. Uh, checking for, yeah, no, nothing like perfecting your Linux distribution live on YouTube. Hey, wow, that even configured. It's more than expected. I expected that to error out quickly with, wow, that even um, interesting. I expected that to fail with dependency XYZ and, and ABC and 123 missing, but there you have it. The only thing is why did this not um, apparently auto update? Oh, wait a second, this even was stable. Why does it not? Um, yeah, basically, I should make like an evening. Okay, that exists. Is why it doesn't auto update? That uh, certainly explains a thing. Do they have a current thing? That's not very. Helpful. Four, four, nine. I mean, this un ironically 449 is it? Uh, huh. I mean, so this latest is not helping here at all. 
this is also or is it yes that that is silly i mean they they edit this for the version but use <laughs> latest that is a little bit new. but ironically if they update that that could actually magically with our full text parsing thing actually i mean it's, it's so silly they have the latest version here and just the latest link there but this is an extra minute well spent of adding here some annotation to hopefully auto update that for years to come also best with the right url but this is wayland so only every second copy and paste works updates um, Okay, that somehow does not. Why does this not? Uh, ah, darn! Because that says says assigned. Um, also, this is funny. Who is running this? I mean, I really wonder what is wrong with people. I mean, who? I in twenty years, I probably like. Kind of nearly sort of next to never have extracted table manually. I mean, besides new modern GNU tables have a auto uh, compressor detection. So the only thing would be, is there a, actually that, that is funny. So by the way, what does it download? Okay, this downloads straight to current. Mm, so they have. Oh, wait, oh, this is double signed. Oh, this is why. Okay, uh, do we even have, apparently we have, this must somehow. Cast extract, uh, interesting. Yeah, I guess. That is interesting. Never used that for decades. Um, maybe you could make this slightly nicer with uh, a hook pre conf extracting this extracted table. The question is does it have a non signed? Does it have like some hain? No. Okay, we leave it at that. Um, we can't change their download anyway, except if we check where it's there. Do they have an archive? Uh, no, thank you. I wanted an archive. Yeah, okay, fine. Set unsubscribe. Uh, I want. Yeah, whatever. Um, at least some update. Uh, okay, we have more random stuff here. But that's probably it for today. What is here with GNU TLS? And what was the other? I guess we can. This is just one random trunk. Let's pay for some random testing. For whatever. I just mostly remove that so I don't accidentally commit random stuff. Oops. Just need to see what. Did we not change that the other day? Or did I not commit that? Maybe I yesterday forgot to commit that. Apparently. I forgot to commit that. Ah, like at least we have solved that. Then there is even less. Uh, some random stuff. 
guess that's it for this live stream. Theoretically, we have to no, to no one surprise people when working X. So from the question here on our website, people wanted a better installer and asked a bit more partitioning and they want to run X. And X was here. So yeah, I guess we should actually really test that um, point taken. I said the last lesson, I'm not sure if I also responded here. Like yeah, they, they want more X and maybe even Docker. Uh, do we have Docker on our... Package, Docker packages. Uh, what is? Oh, this is because there are many. Yeah, there is a bounty if you uh, want to earn some open source money here. And otherwise, I should actually later test. Maybe we live stream this, or at least the result is something. So don't forget to check subscribe for to see more testing or compiler benchmarking and stuff. Otherwise, happy microcode updating, security vulnerabilities and stuff, and hope you learn something.